Okay, this is uh, Ricky. <laughs> he's a uh, funny guy. Uh, he's from UK. And he's my colleague right now. Uh, today is 217 October 9th. And uh, I'm going to cover something <coughs> very new. Okay, uh, I will cover two things. One is uh, gaps. Okay, we have uh, gaps and we have, uh, I'm going to touch about the inside bar, how to trade inside bar. And uh, let's start from the gold, okay? Uh, so gold, in the, before the non-farm payroll, it actually was here, right? Here. Uh, and uh, I said the gold is having quite strong support in, in this area, right? Because we can see the price, okay? It's actually coming, this is the lowest point, before the rally. That is the lowest point, okay? And then it just never touched this point, just all the way goes up. Okay, so uh, 1262 to 1251, that will be have a strong support here. Because looking at here, we do saw our structure. Okay, the structure was actually quite uh, uh, important because you can see here, previously at here, this is acting as a resistance. Can you see that? Okay, because you guys need to know why I put the structure here. <clears throat> it's not only because that it actually works for this time, okay? But we need to know that why the, stop, why the price stopped here and where is our chance to get in, to enroll for these trading setups, right? So you can see here, before the gold break 1262, this is an area that is a strong resistance. Do you agree? Do you agree? This is becomes a very important resistance structure. Can you saw the picture? If you can saw, please reply me by one. Okay, because I love interactions with you guys. <clears throat> okay, cool. All right. So what happened is, okay, the gold failed to break this level, okay, for from here. It failed to break, failed to break, and then all the way goes down, break new low, and then reversed here. When the price first back here, it's still acting as a resistance. However, the second ready is actually break, taking out this level, okay? So what happened next is, look at here. Uh, as I said, we need to find the horizontal structure because the price levels have memories. Let's just remember that. Price levels, those important price levels has memories. Okay? Remember that. Because all the professional traders and those who have already goes into the market, they will remember these price levels for their taking profit level or refer this point as their entry level. So let's go on. <clears throat> you can see here after the breakout, where does this price level turns into? What does it turns into? It turns from the resistance back to support, right? Can you see that? Can you see that? Yeah, give me some, give me some feedbacks. Make sure you are you are connected with me. Okay, I need to see your... Thank you, Spring. Thank you, Andrew. Right? That's cool. Okay, so... Okay, this is what I mean by structure, okay? There's a lot of structure in the chart, in the market, but we need to know where is the most important one. So the most important one, okay, you can consider this as a flipping level. Okay, flipping level. Flipping means if this level was taken out, it will just totally flip up, okay? So we can see here, the resistance now becomes support, right? Okay? And what happened next is the price just touches back a little bit, okay? Breaks down a little bit and then just goes up. And look at it here. This is the last breaks down here. 
and check this level. Do we see the price consolidate within this level? Right? Trying to break out, failed. Left with pin bar, left with pin bar. Okay? This is strong sell off, but then totally reverse. And then this one, this very strong bullish candle breaks a new high, breaks a new high, and all the way goes up. Okay? That's why I'm saying that this level is very important for the gold. Okay, so <clears throat> we further goes. Let me just extend this level all the way. Okay, uh, I think I'm just going to use the horizontal lines. Okay, instead of uh, the yellow box, right? So that you can see the clearer this level. Why I say the price have memories because you can see here after so long time. Okay, from August to September to October, right? It actually still, you know, above this line. Okay, to be more precisely, we need to find the last breaking out structure, which will be here. The breaking out starting from here. Okay, okay let me remove the middle one. Okay, put the zone a little bit wider. So that you can have your stop loss clearer. Okay, so this will be the level that the gold trying to break down but failed, then break up. Okay, turn this level as a supporting level. So the level will be 1262. All right, and look at here. Right, the price amazingly dropped to the 1262.18. And guys, tell me what is the price action here, Heaven? What is the price action, price action on last Friday? Can you identify this? What kind of uh, formation is this from candlesticks? Is that a... What is that? Yeah. No, it is not a pain because the pain has to be Two thirds of their whole body, uh, the whole candle size, but the body size is too big, right? It is a bullish engulfing, correct? Yeah, it is engulfing because why? Because it breaks out the last high of this opening. Oh, sorry, of this highest point of this red candle. Okay, it is an engulfing. Okay, so this engulfing candle happen, right? You can trade by the buy stop here, or you can trade the next candle. Right, and then you have a lot of profits, right? And from location-wise, guys, do you agree that I consider this as a very high? This is a high location, and this will be a low location. Do you agree? High and low. Why I say that is low? Because that is a place that the price didn't break out yet, right? So we have identified this important structure Supports supporting structure here. Since it hasn't break out, we can still thinking that this is a low, right? Okay, so high to low, and what what it will be your preferred strategy? You prefer to long or you prefer to short? Given this, given this assumption, this is high and this is low. What will be your preference? You want to be a buyer or you want to be a seller? Which one is more? Give you a higher risk reward ratio, lower risk, higher returns. Buy, right? Yes. Okay. And okay. And here comes the important one. Okay. Because in four hour chart, we see this very bullish engulfing candle, right? That is a bullish engulfing candle. Okay. But what happened on the non farm payroll day with 8 30 a.m. in New York when the USA published this non farm payroll data? Okay. Let's go to one hour chart and, sorry, 30 minutes charts, yeah. You look, you have a very, very nice entry, okay? And in fact, in fact, you can have two trades on that day itself, right? The first trade is here, okay? The price breaks down, okay, breaks down. And based what I teach you, the structure, right? 
Can we identify this level? This as a very important structure, one to sixty-five. Sorry, one to sixty-five point eighty-three. Okay, this is a very important lesson, guys. Looking at the chart, okay. Just pretend that you are facing the chart right now, and you are going to make decision. What kind of a trading activities you can do based on this chart? Do we see a breakout of the previous low here? That is the lowest point for the gold, right? On uh, uh, the day. On a Friday, the opening price, sorry, the lowest price of the first opening candle here. And this is a daily low. Did the price break out this daily low? Tell me. Give me some hints, give me some feedbacks. <clears throat> Did you see a breakout? Breakdown, breakdown. Can you see that? Right? Okay. And look at the next candle, next 30 minutes. The price consolidate, right? A little bit. And then the price pulls back to the same level. So what can you do? For well, immediate, immediate reflection. Price taking down the previous support. So this level of support now becomes what? Resistance, right? Yes, we can short. You can short the breakout, okay? Breakout pullback. And you short and you win, all right? And you have easily catched 50 pips, okay? Say, for example, you short here, okay? And after <clears throat> this 30 minutes candle was formed and you're taking a short and you just simply put your stop loss above the pin here, all right? So your stop loss is about maybe less than $2, less than. 10 pips, however, your win is 50 pips. Okay, so this is the first trade you can take on the downfall payroll day. Okay, the reason is first is breakout and pullback. Second, secondly, <coughs> guys, looking at the candle, the first candle we call this as a master bar or master, sorry, mother, mother candle. Okay, why this is mono candle? Because the candles high and candles low are completely right wider or hugging the second candle. Do you know that? Can you see that? So this red big red candle, you can consider this as a mother candle. Okay, it's very, okay, tell me, is this candle very determined or decisive? Does it give you a direction in your, in your feeling? Is this candle strong enough? Yeah? Answer me. Yeah, because we can see that previously are all very, very messy, right? Very, very boring candles. And, but this one is a very strong candle. And this candle is high and this candle is low. It's very, very wide. So it actually, you can see here, <coughs> the second candle is much, much shorter, right? Shorter. So if you see this combination, the first candle is high and low are totally outside of the second candle, then this is called inside bar. Okay, inside bar means this is inside bar, this is mother bar, okay? So your strategy is you need to identify the trend. The trend is done, right? The trend is done, okay? And when the, when the inside bar was taking out downside, you can consider to short. So what you can do is you can short when the price, when the next candle breaks down the 
inside bars low here, which is here, 1264.43. Okay, you can actually enjoy the downside returns for another 40, 40 pips. Okay, get it? So this is how we trade. Okay, we have a mother bar, we have an inside bar, and the trend is down, right? Trend is down, so if the price breaks down, you can short it here, stop loss above the high. Risk reward ratio, prefer one to one or one to two. And you can take profit when the risk reward ratio reach to one to one, you can take half, and move stop loss to break even, and when the RR ratio goes to one to two, you take all the profit. So let's just examine whether this trade is a successful trade or not. Guys, <clears throat> did the price hit your stop loss level? No, it didn't, right? It breaks down and it just totally goes downside. And the stop loss level, you put about 1 to 66.41. You are risking $2, but your target, right, it touched 1 to 60. That is uh, $4. So it's 2 to, two to 1 risk reward ratio. Okay, so this is this very, very successful inside bar trading. Okay? Yeah, show me your. Number, okay, give me three if you understand how to trade this inside bar. So mother bar, inside bar, breaks out if the breaking direction is within, with the trend, is more preferred they can trade. And your target is one to one and two to one risk reward ratio. Your stop loss was the other side of the inside bar, okay? Simple, right? Okay, let's go to the next one. So after this candle, okay, the next candle is actually, you see, very, very strong pullback. But, see here, can we consider this as another mother bar inside bar? Do you agree? Because this candle was also a strong candle. But the second one, you see here, the lowest point didn't break low. The highs is within the high. So this is also another inside bar. Okay? So what can you do? You can have two choices. First, first, if the price goes above this high, can you buy? Can you buy? If price breaks out the inside bus candles high, you can buy. And it breaks out the lowest point of the inside bar, you can sell. So you have two choices. Okay, the beautiful thing of the inside bar is you actually no need to guess the direction. You just trade the breaking out directions. So you can have a trade when the price goes above, or you can be prepared when the price goes down to one to 60, you can consider short, okay? It's either way. All right, and let's see what happened. Boom, okay. So tell me, what kind of trade are you taking? If you are watching this inside bar, what kind of trade you are already goes in? Yes, so you take the trade when the price break out one to 64.15. And amazingly, right, your entry was about one to 64.23. Your stop loss is about one to 60.55. You are risking about four dollar. So what is your result? Oh sorry, what 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 is your profit taking level? You are risking about four or four dollar, right? 
as I mentioned, what is your target? If your risk is four dollar, your taking profit will be one to one and one to two, right? So you just need to add to another four dollar from one to sixty five point ninety, which would be one to sixty nine point ninety. Okay, so this is your first target, and what is the second target? Another four dollar, right? So it's just one to seventy three point ninety, which be here. Okay. Wow, it really touched both targets, right? So this will be the TP one, and this will be TP two. Okay, because you are risking this four dollar, you are getting this eight dollar. Another four dollar. Okay. Is this inside the bar trading good? Okay, and I can tell you that in most of the events, news events, inside bars is very likely to be formed, right? Because the news will get, will actually run the price very fast. So making the first candle very strong. And the second candle, the, point, the market needs to have some rest. And then we have another move. Okay, so that is the first trade you can catch of this inside bar. You get this short, and then you get another buy of this inside bar. Two trades. Yes, David, you're right. Let me just ex explain to you. <clears throat> the good thing of inside bar is you don't need to wait for the pullback. Okay, you can see here. You can see here. Okay, imagine you bought from here. Okay, that we also call a structure breakout, right? Breaks this two candle structure. It breaks up this level. So what you should do is wait for the price to pull back to here, and buy. However, in this 30 minute chart, the price didn't give you a pullback. So you, from the structure pullback trade, you may miss the entry. But if you're using inside bar, you are actually buying from here. Okay? Buying from here. All right? That's very good. You can immediately make a lot of money. All right? And inside bar, you have very strict stop loss level. It's just of the upper side, uh, the other side of the candle if breaking up you take your stop loss below the low if breaking down if breaking down you took your stop loss above the high all right and if your target is also very clear one to one and one to two or even higher do you understand okay so you mean this structure that was break first down you mean this one yes you can consider to short the structure pullback. However, since in daily chart, what I mentioned, 1262 is a, is a very, very strong supporting area. So although we have a structure breaking down, but location-wise is really very low, right? So you can short, but you, are, you, you need to have a very strict stop loss. However, uh, otherwise you'll be losing money, okay? You can short the structure, short the structure, and aim for another downside, but you need to have a strict stop loss level here. If the price ever breaks out the high, you need to get out, okay? All right, so this is a inside bar trading, all right? You can see here, that is a beautiful buy from one to 64.22, and you can go to one to 84. That is almost 20. Twenty dollars, right? Two hundred pips, and you are just risking four 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 dollar. Okay, so four for twenty, one to five, almost. Okay. All right. So, use the inside bar. Use the inside bar when the price is at some very important structure. Okay. Do not use the inside bar when their mother bar is not so strong okay uh okay if you look 
clearly here. What can you see? Here. Guys, let's look at here. Can you see another inside bar? Is this an inside bar or not? Tell me. Reply me by six. If you think that is inside bar, if you think it is not, reply me by seven. Let me see your answer. Six or seven. Okay, Andrew said six. How about the others? How come only two people answer me? There are 35 people in this room. What's your answer? Is this one an inside bar or not? So which one is mother bar? The first one, right? This is a mother bar, okay? The mother, right? Inside bar, high, below the high, low, above the low, okay? So what is your what is your trading plan? Very simple. You just need to mark the high and mark the low and get ready. Watch the price. Right? Okay, tell me. What do you see? Can you buy? Does it fill in the buying criteria? Yes, you can long, right? You can long. Your entry is here. Your stop loss is just below the ping. Okay, and you need to measure your risk. How many risk? One to seventy-three to one to seventy, right? Less than three dollar, so thirty pips risk. So your target will be thirty pips and sixty pips, right? So you just add another thirty. It's one to seventy-six point one seven. That is your first target, which will be here. Okay, your second target will be one to two, right? So one to seventy-six. Sorry, seventy-nine point three seven, one seven, which be here. Okay, TP one and TP two. Okay, and after you taking the trade, what can you do? Set your target, right? Okay, this one looks not so good, right? Oh, it's a red candle. Wow. Oh. Why I buy and it it falls. You may you may you may feel the. It is not going to work. Will you? <clears throat> you think that it's going to fail? Or not, guys? Tell me, tell me your true feelings. If you bought from here, the candle didn't break out. The next one that. Falls down, we'll be struggling or we'll be worried that, oh my God, how come it is not going up? It is going down. What can I do? Maybe I made a wrong decision. So, what is your plan if you saw this thing happen? No, not reach the mother part. Now, you don't use the mother bar as your stop loss level. That would be too big. It will be your risk. It will be too big, All right? So my, how about the other? James, are you there? How about Julius? Are you going to be worried about this red candle? Okay, Alan's point a very good thing. Another inside bar, right? Yes, another inside bar. Okay, but it is red. Will we be worried, or will we be fear that it may breaks, we touch your stop loss, and you may be you may be failing, you may be losing money. No, of course, but I can tell you that you have to be ready. You may be losing money. You may be loser because not every inside bar trade will be successful, right? If there is a 100% rate of uh, winning ratio, then everyone is using this one and nobody are losing money, right? So it cannot be a 100% winning strategy. But 
the risk reward ratio determines that you don't need a very high winning ratio. You just need maybe more than 40% that you can make money in the long run. Can I move the stop loss up to the low of the previous candle? You can move, but I'm not going to recommend you to do that because the price didn't go into one to one at least. Typically, I want to only to make the stop loss to break even when the level reached to one to one at least. Otherwise, you'll be easily, you'll be stricken out. Okay? So wait to one to one and move your stop loss level and take some profit. Okay? So in this case, if you already entered the trade, you just follow your plan. Your stop loss is below the pin, right? So just make your stop loss below the pin a little bit. So this is 1 to 70.62, you give it be 50 cents. Go in here. And let's just watch the market. Okay, still not working, still not going up. So sometimes a lot of new traders will be losing of, losing of the patience, right? Imagine in, uh, at uh, 11.30, Right? At 11.30 p.m. in Singapore or 11.30 a.m. in New York, you took the trade, buy from here, and after 30 minutes, after one hour, after one and a half an hour, you're not seeing making any money. Right? Some people will be very, very, you know, becomes very frustrated, becomes very uh, emotional, you know, out of control, or you're, they are so impatient. So why? Why the trade? It's not making money. Jack, you are giving me a wrong strategy. Right? Some people were thinking of that. Were you? Yeah, just, just ask yourself honestly and answer yourself honestly. Are you going to hold the trade even it is not making any money? It is still sideways, but not yet touch your stop loss. What are you going to do? Are you going to stick with your plan? Or maybe you can say, hmm, it is not doing very well. Maybe I should just exit the trade. When I making a little bit of money of maybe $1, $2, I can just escape, I can just run. Maybe I have a, a better opportunities. Maybe it will drop down, right? Okay, thanks. Okay, your answer is good. Stick with plan, stick with plan, okay? So you can, guys, I really want to for you to remember this. No matter what kind of situation and what kind of a strategy I'm teaching you guys, okay? First of all, before you trade, you must have your plan, okay? So that's why very important, plan your trade. That is rule number one. You must plan your trade. Don't trade with a signal that you don't recognize or don't trade after some people, they give a call Say, okay, buy or sell. If you don't understand the logic, right? Do not trade with the news because it's bullish news and you just buy and bearish news, you just sell. And you are, you are be easily going to be trapped or be hunt, okay? So first, rule number one, okay? Plan your trade. What is rule number two? What is rule number two, guys? Gentlemen. If you already have a plan, it's very simple, right? Just follow your plan, so trade your plan. And you don't need to worry about the, the result because the result is already, already predetermined. You are either going to lose this much, say for example, you are either going to lose this maybe $200, or you're going to win this $200 or even $400, right? It is already preset before you take the trade. So you must be respecting your own plan, right? You do not want to buy now and then just chill it away, just, okay, forget about it. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm not doing well, very well. I should just, you know, exit the, exit the trade. Since the plan, it's already said, you have your clear stop loss, you have your reasonable risk reward ratio, which is more than one to one or more than one to two, and 
you are trading based on some strategy that is proven to be successful or have a higher winning ratio, then you just need to trade your pen. Okay? So I hope you can understand these two things. Okay? Otherwise, you'll be just trading like a novice trader or retail trader, buy or sell, you know, don't know what they're going to do. All right? So let's look the next candle. Okay, this one still side away, a little bit of winning, right? So should we just taking out the profit when we are making a little bit of money like uh, 40 cents? If you buy one lot, you earn $40. Should you? Should you take profit here or you wait? Give me your answer. You still consider to continue to hold, right? Continue to wait for the result. Okay, still sideways. Wow, so boring. And that is already 2, p 2 a.m. in the morning in Singapore or 2 p.m. in the USA. Maybe you are just running out of the energy that you're thinking that, okay, maybe the market is dead, right? The market is dead. It's sideways. It's not going to make me money this weekend. Uh, and the weekend is coming. Who knows what will happen, right? In the weekend, maybe there's a gap. If it gaps down, it will just hit my stop loss and make a slip page, right? And you just let go, right? But that's not the plan. The plan is just wait, right? So you just set your plan and you can see here, right? Boom, it hits your TP1, okay? And you take some profit. And then, okay, this one is very good. You hit your TP2. Okay, so after you're hitting TP1, you can take half of the profit and then make your stop loss to break even. All right? And if you reach your TP2, you can take all of the profits, right? Or you can just let it go to move your stop loss even higher, trace the trace your stop loss to the bottom of the very strong bullish bar, maybe just put it here. Okay, and you may be shaken out. Okay, you're not shaken out yet. Right? You're still making money. Okay, so this is another successful inside bar. Okay, so any questions for the inside bar? Okay, okay, some people are raising hands. Okay, right? Okay, tell me your questions. I saw our administrator are raising hands. And thanks for the people who are uh, making their names and their own name, okay? Because otherwise I won't know who you are who. Okay, if you are able to change your names to your own name, that would be better. At least I can know who are you. Oh, I saw Mr. Chu. Hello, Mr. Chu. Hello, Mr. Chu. Yeah, Mr. Chu is from Online Traders Club in Singapore. All right, and uh, uh, he's a very great trader. And he, he invites me as a speaker of the online traders event. Thank you. I hope I can meet you in Singapore uh, next month. Okay, so this is uh, inside bar, okay? And I'm going to use another example of this uh, <clears throat> to illustrate you guys with uh, gaps. So this is a second second tutorial. And in fact, I have already published in TradingView, okay? So, <clears throat> you know, ga gaps are more likely to be happened when either the news event comes, comes or when the weekend comes, right? Because after two days weekend, a lot of things can happen. Right? There are maybe some political events or some terrorist attacks or some, you know, elections. Does inside bar need to be opposite color of the mother bar? No, not, not really. Not really. It doesn't matter of the color. Okay? It doesn't matter of the color. What matters is the highest, highest price and the lowest price. Okay? So this is a perfect example of uh, how to trade gaps. And what I mean by 
professional guest is here, okay? Uh, <clears throat> I decided to teach this one here in the video, okay, give you a webinar, because maybe some people will be not understanding the logic of this, uh, uh, what I write on the trading view here, because a lot of words, okay, a lot of text, okay? And you may, you may be confusing. Does pain also need, need to be inside or body only? Or uh, pain, what do you mean by pain? I mean, you can have an inside pain bar. That's okay. Oh, I think I I get what you know. What do you mean? Yes, the wick has to be inside also. I'm talking about the highest point and the lowest point, so it has to be the highest and lowest, okay? Including the pain, including the shadow, including the wick, okay? So here is an example of the professional gaps, okay? Because in last Friday on 4.30, there's a, the, the, the market stops here, okay? Um, October 7th, which is last Friday. The color of the last candle was red. It tells you the price fall from 1.6815 to 1.67935, okay? This is a bearish candle. That is closing price of the whole week. And also the day. That is a closing price of the candle. And then today is Monday, and I say after weekend, something will happen, something may change. So you can see here. How how do you read this candle? First of all, the candle is red. Red candle means the opening price is higher than the closing price, right? Okay. So this will be the opening price on Monday. But we know that normally the candle, after this candle was closed, the second candle normally continue the, the, the opening price and the closing price are the same, right? If the, if the opening price of the second candle is the same as the one, as the closing, closing price, we know that there's no gap. But, if the opening price is here, oh sorry, if the closing price is here, closing price, however, the second candle's opening price is here. If there is a difference, we know that this is a gap. Okay? All right, so tell me, do you see the gap? This is close, this is opening. How big is the gap? How wide is the gap? Can you tell me? Immediately after you see this candle, you should be alerting yourself. Oh my God, I saw a gap. That is not a only a you know, red candle, red candle, right? It's a very a huge gap. Okay, gaps meaning market doesn't recognize the previous price. It jumps higher to here at 1.6849 rather than 1.67932. That is almost 50 pips gap. Very, very, very far distance, isn't it? Imagine of the people who are selling at the last Red candle, if you are selling here, if you are sellers here, and immediately when the price opened today, God, you are actually having a loss or having a profit. Imagine you short maybe 1.6793, and the morning the candle opens at 1.6849. Wow, you... <laughs> You are, you are in, in the loss of 56 pips, right? And let me ask you, will you be super terrified about this gap? Or are you going to be very concerned of the, your trade? Heart attack, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe heart attack or, oh my God, 
I made a lousy trade last Friday, right? Huge gaps up, okay? And guys, what happened next is normally when the professional gaps means is the direction of the gap is up, right? However, the last candle, the previous candle was down. So when the gap's direction is up or down, it's totally opposite of the last candle. And this is a professional gap. It's opposite. Goes down first and then gaps up. All right? And that we call, this is a bear trap. Understand? This is a bear trap because a lot of people are selling. Are selling. Selling at low. And it opens at high. And making these sellers trapped. Okay? So then our trading plans is developed. We need to wait for the price to pull back and Thinks it is a professional gaps, which means the institutional traders are making the gaps, right? So you guess what will be the direction of the the overall trend? Because a professional gaps means that right now the buyers are winning. The buyers are winning. And sellers of the last candle are bleeding. They are losing money, right? They are bleeding. So who wins? Who wins the fight? Tell me. The sellers win or the buyers buyers are winning? All right, this is my teaching style. I need to I need to make you very, very clear of the information that I give to you, right? I have to go into very, very specific ways. Buyers, right? So I, I can tell you that trading is just only a game. Only the fight between all the buyers and the sellers. Okay? When you are buying something, if you can buy, if you can complete your purchase, definitely some people are selling to you. Do you agree? Right? Whenever you want to buy or you want to sell, you have to find your counterparty to offer the goods to you for you to buy or offer the price for you for you to sell. Right? So trading is just a game that between the buyers and the sellers. So, but we know that it's very crucial because it is a zero, zero, we call our uh, sum, yeah, zero sum game because nobody are. It is it, 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 uh, the overall trading didn't create any new fortunes. It just transferred the fortunes, transferred the money from those who don't understand the how to trade to those who understand the trade. Okay, if you are just think of this way, if you ever have a losing trade which means you either you buy something but it keeps dropping and you sell you 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 have to sell it before it before it actually blows up your account so you are buying high and selling low and who who actually earns your money broker not really market not really who's the market i mean people right so you are actually losing money or you are actually did not earn Donating your money to the people who are doing the opposite opposite trading direction with you. You are actually losing money to the people who are selling you high and buying low. Right? So the buyers and the sellers are always fighting. And when the gaps form, it just simply simply tells you that some people are wrong. Do you agree? So just remember. When gaps form, okay, either side of the buyers or the sellers 
either side is wrong. There has to be a side that is wrong. And what will happen next? Do you think the side of the people who are doing wrong, they, are they going to correct their faults? Are they going to making some activities or actions to avoid further loss? Do you agree? Just imagine if you're sitting here in the morning you saw you have a big loss. And when the price goes down a little bit, you know, your loss becomes more. What will be your natural, natural reaction? Are you going to run out? Are you going to run in to escape? Things, my, my loss becomes smaller. You can have, you, can, you save some money, right? At least you save some, some money. Hi right, guys, are you still with me? Yeah, because we need to understand what is the emotion of the buyers and the sellers all times. And typically when the gaps are formed. So I, I said already the buyers or sellers either side is wrong. So which means some people have to do some actions, okay? Then the action is, is here. Yes, I agree with you, David. Yes, if you already have your trading plan with your stop loss, you don't care, right? But you know that 90% of the traders in the market are, you know, not novice traders, right? Not, there, are, there aren't so many professional traders. There are a lot, a lot of novice traders. Otherwise, how the professional institutions are going to make money? Every people understanding how to buy low and sell high Nobody are chasing price, nobody are selling low, and nobody are, selling, are buying high. How does the institutional players make money, right? So the fears and the greedy comes when the price gaps up or gaps down. And look in here, you see two candles are going down and it touched, it touched the highest price of this candle and imagine these people who are selling within this candle what will be their actual stop loss imagine of these people who are selling on last friday's last 30 minutes for those people who are selling 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 their stop loss is normally above the high right Yes, and now, although there's a gap, okay, two things are happening. First of all, it gaps up and it goes down quickly. In the process, of, in the process of it goes down, tell me, are there any buyers here? Are people buying high? Did any people buy bought at a high? Bought at 1.6849 if some people are become buyers. Didn't they? Yes, they did. Otherwise, there won't be an opening price there. It has to be, you know, because all the pricing in the candles are real, are those deal price, which tells you there are some buyers are willing to buy at this high. And some people are waiting to sell at this price and they make a deal and they have a candle price. So people, some people are buying here and price has dropped. After the other candle, it goes to the original stop loss level of these sellers. So tell me, if you are selling, right? And it goes up so high and now comes back to your original stop loss level. If you are the sellers, are you going to escape or you, pre or you prefer to wait? I can tell you that the, the, this kind of a fear will drive all the sellers to cover their short because it is in their favor, 
instead of covering shot here, which means they are by here, now they can cover their shot, they only lose this much, right? Of course, it is good to escape. Because some people never said stop loss. And they just was, oh, the price is coming back, I can get out without losing, losing too much money, right? But our trading plan is, we know that there are a lot of sellers are in terrible situations that they are going to run. So what kind of a price section we are expecting? If so many sellers are want to covering their shorts here, yes, the price will goes up because the sellers now becomes buyers, right? That's why you saw this, and the price consolidates, shaking out a little bit, touch one more time, goes down a little bit. Now this time the real it really feels the opening price of the last candle. Okay, makes more people want to unwinding their short. And you can use another strategy. You can use the Fibonacci level. Okay. So what Fibonacci level can tell you is, yes. Did the price pulls back to 618? Tell me. Can you see that? The price goes up so high, and now it goes back to the 618 level. Okay, it really goes to the 618 level. And it actually touched the previous high of this last candle. So I'm telling you that you can buy. Do you believe me? Why you can buy? I already explained. Because people who are making their sales here, after they saw this gap, they are so terrified. And they want to get their loss more. They want to unwind their shorts. They want to cover their shorts. They want to become some buyers. And how about the other side of the people? For those who want to buy, they want to buy high or they want to buy low? Of course, I also buy low, and there are a lot of people who are buying at a 618 level. Okay, so two forces are helping you in this buying trade, and you are just risking about 30 pips, sorry, 20 pips, right? 2A14 to 27, sorry, 6A14 to 6794. That is about 20 pips only, right? And you buy. And you're making money. And look at the max. It actually goes to 1.69. Your risk is about this. You are actually having a, about, I counted this one, 7 to 1 risk reward ratio. Okay, 1 to 7. The 20 pips for 140 pips, more than that. If you are risking $200, congratulations, you win $1,400. So this is an important lesson for the professional gaps. Because gaps are not so easily to be found in the forex market. Okay, Gaps are normally be found in the stocks market because stocks market didn't run 24 hours. However, forex market almost running 24 hours, five days, right? So, yeah, forex. If the some gaps are happen, happening in the forex market, you should be alerting yourself that there may be a good opportunities. So, give me a five. Give me five. Okay, if you think that this is a great trading plan, and I really hope you can master these kind of strategies. When you saw the professional gaps. Okay. All right, so it's already almost one hour. Okay. It's already 1040. I think I spent, yeah, it's a very, very uh, detailed tutorial or workshop that I go through with.
uh, I don't care that if you are first time listening to my course or you are my old students, but uh, I mean, it's good for me to share with you guys to let you know some of the secret of the market. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the market. Okay, so tutorial finished. Uh, I'm going to highlight some of the key points for this level, for this week. Okay, the gold. The gold is kind of, uh, you know, still in the bearish channel. It looks like it's going up. However, it didn't really break out. Okay, so gold is still in this bearish channel. Uh, so you don't want to sell at low. You want to prefer, preferably you want to sell high. But uh, the price action now is quite, you know, it's a little bit, a little bit stronger. Okay, it is no longer so bearish. And the most importantly is the gold breaks out the high. It makes higher high. Okay, it makes a higher high. So it may goes up. The gold may goes up. To where? You just need to be careful that it may go to Fibonacci 382 and Fibonacci 618. So you have to measure the potential retracement area. Okay, the first area will be 1297.55. Second will be 1320.44. Uh, I'm not thinking they may go re retrace to that high. But it is likely for the gold to retrace to this level, 1297.55. That's possible. Okay. So wait patiently for the price to go there. And you want to maybe you can consider short with some price sections or inside bars or pin bar. Okay. So before beside the pin bar, you can now have another good tools as inside bars. Okay. All right, so prefer to sell high of the gold strategy. If you want to buy, you should wait for the gold to pull back to at least 1275, to pull back to this level, okay? Pull back to here, or maybe 618, that you want to become a buyer, okay? So that is for the gold. Okay, for the euro. Uh, for the euro, I think our trading plan in the last week on the non farm non farm payroll day was quite successful because I have clearly said that if the 1.1662 cannot be broken, we want to be a buyer, right? And it did actually gives us a good opportunity to buy at this pin bar, or this is also inside bar. Do you see that? If you're using inside bar, you can actually catch the buy. Mother bar, inside bar, when the price goes up, the high, you want to be a buyer. But this one didn't really, uh, you, you don't want to be a seller when it goes down because you know that 1.1662 is a supporting area, right? So this inside bar, you, you have to only to choose to the buy here, okay? Uh, but for the euro, I think it's still quite weak because it cannot goes above to this 1.1751 level. So this will be an important structure for the euro, okay? If the price cannot go up there, uh, you should take profit of your loan and you want to consider short with the rally. For the sterling, uh, today rallied well, but now it's falling back. Uh, I think sterling, you need to watch for the price action at 1.3124. It's almost reaching, okay? So the price goes back to here. This will be a structural breakout trade by the pullback, okay? So sterling, you can consider to buy the pullback, right? And see whether the price can go back to here, 1.3227. Uh, that is the level I want to short, right? For the Aussie dollar, still weak. I want to just keep the shorts for the Aussie previously that I, uh, I think on the FOMC meeting, we catch the shorting opportunity for the Aussie, right? Do you remember? That is a beautiful 618 short for the Aussie dollar. Oops, where's my chart? 
now it's coming yeah okay you can see here uh this is a chart that higher high lower high lower high lower lows right and uh this is a webinar <laughs> right in the last webinar still the same chart right the breaks down breaking lower low pulling back to the same structure you can short from 0 0.7984 and right you just have a good profit there's all these dollars still weak uh, but i don't want you to buy to 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 pick the bottom no you don't want to pick the bottom when the when the trend is done right the aussie may go back to here 0 0.7712 or it may go to uh, here, 0 0.7475, okay? Because this has already completed uh, ABCD patterns, right? So when the ABCD pattern completes, it actually tells you that, yeah, the price may not go out further. It will just go back to 382 at a 618, right? So all the are just to keep your short when the price hit to 0 0.7715, or you can further goes down, you can take some profit of the shorts, right? Taking some profits when the price goes lower, okay? But don't buy, don't buy. Downtrend, focus on the high to sell the ready. Same for the Kiwi dollar, and we have a very nice trade last week, right? This is the last trade, <laughs> last week's trade. We short from 0 0.79789, and look at the pin bar here. Right, it actually beautiful trade. First target, second target, right? Okay. Nice trade of the Kiwi. I think Kiwi may still go down to 0 0.69, right? Uh, for the dollar Canadian, uh, as I mentioned, it's bullish trend. So, uh, but you don't want to buy at high, okay? Buy low, buy the price when the price pulls back, maybe. To this structure uh, i'm looking for this structure to become buyer buyers again okay i don't want to chase the price i want to wait for the price to pull back so this is for the dollar cap and go to the oil the oil has a beautiful trade last week as well it's actually the structure trade of this 51.25 right this is a very nice structure okay Breaking out, pulling back, forms a pin bar. You can enter the pin bar here. The next candle stop loss above 51.21, and you earn 200 pips, okay? Dollar yen, okay. Dollar yen is something that I want you to, uh, maybe you can consider to become the sellers, okay? Okay. Uh, the dollar yen have uh, already goes to the 786 level. Oh, sorry, 88. Yeah, almost touched the 86 retracement. Not yet. However, the pain bar in the last Friday shows negative price action. So you can consider to short dollar yen stop loss above the pin and aim for 111.75 and also uh, maybe 110.60. I think the dollar yen is going to feel the gap here there's a gap here all right it may feel the gap so you may have a shorting opportunities of the dollar yen okay lastly go to the fx spx 500 okay the s p still goes higher okay but as i mentioned don't short when the price keeps making higher high all right but uh, looking at the candle here maybe right now uh in one hour chart list okay i saw some interesting scenarios okay this is a first talk and that is a second talk okay the price failed to make a higher high and breaks down making a lower low so s p right if the price goes back to 2548.7 uh, i think you may sell it to 2539 first and then it may go back to uh, here. The second is will be 2528. 
there will be two targets for the S&P. Okay, I know some of you guys are shorting DEX. Okay, uh, but uh, the DEX, right, look at the gap. It's a very strong gaps are. Another gap, build and goes up again. But it looks like the price is kind of a consolidate, consolidation about one, about one 13,000 level. Well, I'm thinking that uh, from the price action, it tells you that 13,000 level has many uh, resistance. So maybe you can wait for a bearish candle to be closed below 1294. Wait for the price to be closed. Making a lower low, all right, and draw the pullback. That will be a possible trading opportunities because I think that this gap may be filled, all right? So that is our opportunity for the DAX. Inside daily bar, um, inside bar, right? Okay, SPX 500. Um, See whether it's inside bar or not. Maybe not. Yes? Okay. All right. Uh, one of my traders in my desk saying that it's inside the bar. But it actually breaks out a little bit, right? So, well, that may not be an inside bar because this week are higher than the previous one. Okay. Although it is still within the mother candle, okay? So, uh, you can consider to short. You can consider to short. Still, you, you can still consider to short if you put your stop loss above the mother bus high. Okay, it may give you at least one to one or one to two risk to a ratio. Okay, <coughs> previous bar yes, Pre previous bar is inside bar, but now this third candle it uh, it breaks up a little bit. So if you are trading the inside bar, you should be buying. At the high, then that that is not our preference, right? So it's better for the for the closing price to be totally outside of the inside bar. Sterling yen, okay. Sterling yen. Uh, I want to be a seller, right? Because it's keep making lower low. I think last week we catch a very nice trade at one forty nine over here. Do you remember? That is a trade that break out, pulls back, you short, and it just goes down very nicely, 300 pips. And right now, right, it pulls back again to the same structure here, right? So you can sell at 148.40. That is good trade. Because generally speaking, I'm still, I'm still bearish on selling yen. I think it will go back to 144, to this level, 144, okay? Yeah. All right, so I think that's quite a long session for this week, huh? We learned inside bars, we learned professional gaps, and I hope this can give you some, some things that you can are putting on your trading systems, giving you giving you more ideas, giving you more thoughts when you are planning your trade. Okay, because trading, yeah, trading is is difficult because you you don't know what will happen next, right? But in in fact, as a professional trader, we don't care about what will happen next. We only care about how good is our trading plan. How, how's the quality of the trade I'm, I'm catching? And do I have a trained system that for me to identify profitable patterns or trades, right? That's why I'm giving you guys this webinar for free. Because I think there will be some people who are demanding my advice, right? And since I'm now in the top of the trading view, I feel that I have some my responsibilities to continue to uh, give you guys some guidance, right? No matter who are you or no matter who you, 
no whether you know me or not i don't care but uh, there will be some people who miss my my trainings or my education so i believe uh, i'm a firm believer of education because no matter what will what the world are developing into you are going i mean no matter what kind of world we are we are living now right the human people are are getting improved generation by generation based on education right right without newton we don't know physics right without einstein we don't know quant right without those scientists or those ancestors we cannot live in this very modern world or we call modern right now but maybe hundreds of years later we are going to the space right so but education is something that will never be should never be you know <clears throat> forget so uh i'm happy that to give you guys these webinars or educations in china uh, i'm proud of it because uh although my race are chinese but i receiving education in singapore i have a lot of friends in usa in canada i have a lot of students in all over the world in south africa in greece in malaysia in indonesia all over the world and i become i think i'm international right so uh in the time i looking at the figures here right now i have 27000 followers i published 1005 ideas right i'm ranking the maybe at this day is still number 1 so i think i i should be doing something regularly to to you know to let more people know how to trade professionally or at least point point out the way to show you how to trade professionally right in case uh, actually today i did a study in canada trade <coughs> this is the trade i catch and i think i published in trading view right yes i bought from this place and i take profit at this 1.6116 and i'm making 500 dollars Okay, so that is a trade I catch today. And I publish pretty well as well. Okay, so I mean I think education are something that I want to dedicate my my old lifetime to do. Okay. Yeah, so I hope that you can enjoy my these sessions. Euro yen. Euro yen short. Okay, I already answered inside bars highest point and lowest point have to be inside okay you just care about the high and the low you don't care about the body okay so this is a bar high and low okay and this is inside bar high and low you are comparing the high and the low okay it has to be inside don't care about the body. You know what I mean? Euro yen. Okay, euro yen is also a very good time to short because euro yen is actually doing uh, lower highs as well. Looks like okay, you are not. You guys are not listening to me. <laughs> you are more. I mean. People are just more caring about how, how do I see the charts, right? Noon, right? How, you, are, you are more concerned about whether there's any good trade setups. You are not looking, you're, you're not really caring about what I'm talking. All right, Euro Yen, okay, you can see here. That will be a shorting trade here. Okay. Preferably, you can, you, I want to short from 133.248. However, the price ready from this place to this place, the price have a ready and then breaks down and breaks the lower low. So 
you can see here right now the euro yen trend is actually going down is going down okay and you can see this is a kind of a triangle but it's more like for it to go down okay and fill the gap here one two nine okay so euro yen short the high short the sell the ready okay give me some response if you listen you heard my voice moon Tentai. okay so that's end of this webinar uh do you want the recordings or you don't should i just uh, don't publish this video to youtube yeah so that only you guys can know it right those who didn't attend the meeting they won't know wow jacks are teaching jacks is teach jacks teaching inside by so gas should we <laughs> okay yeah better for everyone one for all or for one right in the group got you. oh scott hi scott finally i'm seeing you here tell me what happened to you uh when you are using wechat i mean you can just you know standard you can send a print screen here. You can see you can print screen here. User out plus A, and you just click this finish. And then you can post it here. You can post it here. All right. So there are some good thing about WeChat, right? Out plus A is the short card for you to catch a screenshot. And then you can do C, oh, sorry, can do V to paste it in the WeChat, right? I hope that you can know how to how to use that. Uh, otherwise, you have to use the print screen buttons in your keyboard, print screen and copy paste. Um, okay, so okay, let me figure uh, let me figure this out with you. Yeah, no, 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 I'm talking about the WeChat. So don't worry, Scott. I'm going to uh, give you a one-to-one -one session later on. I, do, do you have time? I think I can show you how to do that, right? Because I can connect with you uh, from Zoom or TeamView. Okay. So give me some time. I can figure out your computers. All right. So end of this session. See you next time. Plan your trade and trade your plan. All right, guys. Buy low, sell high. Find the structures, find all the patterns, find something that I teach you guys. Okay, higher risk reward ratio, good entry, reasonable stop loss, reasonable taking profit, and trade your plan. Okay, I'm be I will be happy to see you guys in group. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.